Alright, welcome back to Texel Hardware. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, one of the 600 series graphics cards from late 2012, the GTX 670 MX card. Now for those of us like myself, this is the newest graphics card that I currently own. That is until I build a system later this year. Now the GTX 670 MX card features 960 CUDA cores, a base clock of 600 megahertz, uh, along with a 1396 megahertz base clock for the 3 gigabytes GDDR5 VRAM memory that it has as well. Now I was able to overclock that to 744 megahertz on the CUDA cores and 2277 megahertz, yes that's correct, I was able to overclock to 2277 megahertz. That's 2.277 gigahertz on the memory. So I was able to get 24% more performance out of the core and 63% higher performance out of the memory. I won the silicon lottery on this one. This card maxed out the sliders on MSI Afterburner. And I do plan to go into the unofficially unsupported mode for MSI Afterburner to see just how much further I can push this card. Now that being said, can it still carry its own weight in 2017? Let's check out the benchmarks to find out together. So this list of games and these benchmarks that I that I ran are just some games that I'm playing right now. And I have to say that it is holding up its own fairly well considering how old that this card is. Being four plus years old, I can't believe, for example, that it's pegging out so many games at 60 FPS, including Soma, which was released in late 2015, and Ghost in the Shell First Assault, it's pegging out right at 39 maximum of 67 FPS with 45 to 55 most of the time. And Doom 2016, I cannot believe that it's getting 20 at the minimum with a max of 42 FPS with an average of 31 and a majority FPS range of 27 to 32. I just can't believe that and that's with my overclock. And I know that may not sound very impressive compared to like a 1080 or a 1070, and you know, frankly, it's, it's not. But when you factor in how old this, this hardware is, it actually really impresses me that, it, that it's able to, to maintain playable frame rates in, in all of these games. I hope you enjoyed looking at these benchmarks and if you happen to have a GTX 600 series GPU, like a 670 or a 680, it can still hold its own on, on even some demanding games of 2016 and I think 2017 coming out here shortly. I'm not sure how much longer it will be able to do so, but it's impressive nonetheless.